How to Pass Variables Between Stages in Jenkins. Sometimes you need to pass variables between stages in Jenkins. Your first thought may be, well, I can just use an environment variable to do that. However, environment variables, when defined within a stage, are only scoped to that stage. And even if you define an environment variable at the global level of the pipeline, that variable cannot be mutated throughout the stages. So how do we pass variables and make changes to them as we go through the stages? That's what we're going to look at in this video. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.3, and I also have an agent attached to this controller. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that has the sample pipelines that we're creating in this video. I've already set up an example pipeline that we're going to be starting with, so let's go into Pass Variables and click on Configure. And what I have here is a sample scripted syntax pipeline that will explain how to pass variables between stages. We've defined an animal variable and set it to cat at line one. We've opened up a node block and we've defined two stages. We have a stage for hello, which is going to echo out animal. Then we're going to mutate animal to turn it into a dog. We'll go to the next stage and echo out animal, which should be dog. So let's go and click on save and click on build now. What you'll see as it runs is we're running on our agent one. We're echoing out cat in the first stage, the hello stage. And then we're echoing out dog in the goodbye or the second stage. Now, from a scripted syntax perspective, that's really pretty straightforward. But instead of using scripted syntax, you really should be thinking about using declarative syntax because there are features that are available within declarative syntax that aren't available within scripted syntax, such as the ability to restart from a specific stage. So I want to take this example pipeline and turn it into declarative. So let's go ahead and go back into the pipeline definition and let's change this definition into the comparable declarative version. It's going to look similar, but it's going to be a bit longer. So let's take a look at it. What we have here is, and I'll size this down, we have our first line still being deaf animal cat, but you'll notice that this is outside of the declarative pipeline block. So if we want to be able to make changes to a variable within a pipeline, we need to declare it outside of the pipeline block. If you were to define a variable within the scope of the pipeline block, then that variable change would only stay within that scope. So if I want to be able to do something on a, I'm going to call a global level, not global from a Jenkins perspective, but global within the run of this one pipeline, then I've got to define it outside of pipeline. I have my agent any, and then I have two stages. I have my hello stage and goodbye stage, just like what we saw with our scripted syntax. But notice here as we get into steps, I'm using a script block because in order to mutate this variable animal to something else, that has to happen within the script block. So we echo out the animal, we change animal to dog, we get onto the next stage, and then we echo out animal. So again, what we're expecting is the exact same output from what we saw with the scripted syntax example to where we first see cat and then we see dog. Let's go and click on save and click on build now. And when we take a look at output two, we can see that we're still running on agent one. We get cat and then we get dog. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button and ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.